narcissist's impeccable ability to blend in and go undetected while hiding in plain sight that make these predators so tricky to identify. Masking their extremely dark true nature by donning a facade and portraying themselves to the world to be someone to that of an entirely different person that their targeted sources of supply eventually will inevitably encounter while behind closed doors. These true masters of deception and manipulation have mirroring down to a science, can lie to your face while looking you dead in the eye, have the charisma to charm a snake, and are of professional status in their victim playing, fooling even the most successful, well-rounded, educated individuals, including therapists, psychiatrists, law enforcement, and judges. But being involved in any kind of a relationship with them is like being caught in the eye of a tornado. At least, like a tornado in your mind anyway, creating and provoking a whirlwind of confusion in your thoughts, messing with your mind from the beginning to the discard, and every day, in between, using a lethal concoction of manipulative tactics and psychological torture to distort your perception of reality and contort your thought process, secretively sabotaging your character via smear campaigns, and sending their pretties off into flight, using their flying monkeys to further mess with your head until you are the last man standing, at which point you will give up, assuming that you are crazy or will be brutally and abruptly discarded. All of this done intentionally, deliberately, but in a discreet fashion. It is the narcissist invisible setup. Narcissists are the Ron Jeremy of love bombing during the ideation phase, putting you up on a pink cloud overlooking Fantasyland Island so that your thoughts in these beginning days are consumed by how wonderful they are. Like you have finally found something you have been searching for your entire life, as if they are the one, your soulmate, a dream come true. They are as flattering as they are charming, attentive as they are doting and affectionate. Their values and beliefs reflect that of your own, share the same hobbies and interests, have the same outlook at life as you do, and make being vulnerable and opening your heart seem as easy as a Sunday morning. And they just cannot seem to get enough of you, wanting to spend every waking second by your side. And when they can't, calling and texting just to say hi or check in on how your day was going, telling you how different you are from anyone else they have ever met. And there is just no way they are going to be able to stop themselves from falling madly in love with you. You're being smitten with how things are going and your thoughts consumed by all of their attention and affection. Ignore your intuition's warning that maybe this perhaps is just a little too good to be true, mistaking the twinges you get in your stomach as butterflies. But as the days become weeks and the weeks grow into months, the love bombing begins to dissipate, the attention and affection becoming fewer and farther in between, bit by bit getting replaced with subtle insults, jokes, and backhanded compliments, using your insecurities as weapons against you, but teasing and insulting you in a way that, though blatant, are not blunt as to come across as if they're saying something for your own good. Because they care about you, are just trying to help in the areas you lack, the world one in your mind seems to be picking up speed with each passing day, and your thoughts have now become far less pleasant. But not about the narcissist, about yourself. Their continuous passive-aggressive insults have started to chip away at your self-esteem. Find yourself lying awake at night trying to make sense of it all. The exhaustion you get from the sleep deprivation creates a much denser fog of confusion coinciding with the spinning of thoughts, leaves you constantly questioning everything in your mind. Are they really being mean or are they just trying to be funny? Maybe I am just too sensitive. Why am I always overthinking everything? What the fuck is wrong with me? Now, knee deep in the narcissist sick and twisted game of master of the puppets. However, you are still at best just partially aware that you're even playing. The narcissist now has not only gained total control of your mind, heart, and soul, but by their slowly draining the life from your being, you no longer fit that photoshopped, fantasy land, delusional kind of fucking perfect. And in their eyes, you have failed to meet their expectations. The narcissist at this point has little use for you. And as such, the devaluation stage kicks in to full swing. In efforts to not wake the beast within, find yourself now walking on eggshells 
tiptoeing around them. Despite being utterly exhausted in every sense of the word, you still are eager to please and make every effort to obtain their validation and approval, going above and beyond doing things to prove your worth. But no matter how hard you try, and despite your best efforts, it's never enough in the eyes of the narcissist. And instead of validation or approval, they become more critical. And rather than getting their much wanted affection, they begin to withdraw from the relationship, withholding affection altogether, completely refrain from having sex with you, staying at work longer, always now having plans of their own on the weekend, giving you longer and more frequent silent treatments. The lies that they've been telling from the beginning are seemingly more obvious, but whenever you call them out on it, they just point the finger right back at you, taking no accountability for their wrongdoings, blame shifting and projecting, or just flat out avoid acknowledging it altogether. The teasing and insults, no longer subtle, now hurling at your head disparaging remarks any chance that they can, gaslighting you into thinking, everything is your fault and that you are the batshit crazy one. Emotionally neglect you to make you feel invalidated, unworthy, and like there is something wrong with you. Leaves you completely questioning your entire perception of reality. You don't know what or who to believe anymore. No longer able to decipher truthfulness from falsehood. You have no idea how things got here to this point and do not think that you have the energy within you to make it out. You feel so alone, so lost, and so empty. Having been isolated from your family and friends, no one to turn to, nowhere to go, nowhere to run. You now are the last man standing. No amount of holding on is going to help. You either tap out or they discard you. And though deep down you know, as your intuition has been all but trying to pound down the door, but due to being so soul shattered, heartbroken, and utterly exhausted, you slip into a state of denial, desperately seeking some other alternative explanation to it all with one reason after the next as to why you can't leave. Because to admit it opens the door to a whole new level of pain. Pain that you don't think in your exhaustive state you're going to be able to handle. Admitting it invites in all the shame that you will inevitably feel being fooled, betrayed, and recognizing it sooner. To admit it, means admitting that they never loved you. Admitting it means having to face the reality of it all. Sometimes remaining in this state of denial, sadly for months and even years, but as hard as it is to have to face with accepting it that eventually sets you free. There was nothing you should have, could have, or would have done that would have resulted in any different outcome, regardless of who you are, because the way that they treated you has nothing to do with you personally. And it is within the accepting that allows you to begin once again, remembering who you are. And that is when the game changes, because this marks the beginning of your rise back up. Knowing is half the battle. So fight for you. Focus on you. Fuck the narcissist.